Okay. So what? Uh, okay, what are we going to be dressing now? Uh, okay, let's start for this one. You know, I told you this one will come last. So let's go with the fourth portion. So to test for sulfates. So how are we going to interpret it here? Let's interpret. So I'll use that as as what second? I think second word portion. Okay, so sorry. No, let's finish on this one. Where is it again? With ammonia. Is ammonia there? Where is ammonia? Third portion. But let's report it as second portion here. So let's say second portion for ammonia. So B I I second. Okay, I still want this test. I'm not claiming so I'm not going to so just just manage it here. So I'm just right. So I I I second second portion plus NH3 in drops. And then what happen in SS? Okay, NH3. So you see, please don't mind up, please go to down. What are you seeing there? Pay, Abby. Pay. So we have pale blue, pale blue. If you waste time, if you waste time, um, copper is forming ligand, so it's dissolving. In excess now, the dissolution will happen instantaneously. I'm going to show you. So here we have pale blue, pale blue gela, tenuous precipitate. Don't use PPT precipitates. Make sure that this is matching with a uh, in drop. So in excess. In excess or in no amounts, just add until something happen. What have you seen? See now, the whole precipitate is nowhere to be found. And if you look at the color of the blue, it's much deeper than what we have before, isn't it? So that is to show that this test is more comprehensive for copper. This test is what dictates that the copper is confirmed from this particular source. So here, we'll write it here that pale blue, just what we just did now, pale blue, gela, gelatinous, please allow me to use PPT, PPT, dissolve, I think it dissolves, dissolved to give a what? A pale what? Blue what? Solution. But there are two tests you carried out here. The first was in drop. It was Cu2 plus present. The next was in excess. Now it is now Cu2 plus. Now what? Confirmed. Okay. To the last test. Okay. To the second. To the last test. We want to test for SO4. Are you with me now? SO4. So I'm going to clean this. Well, let's do the test before we now interpret it. So here I'm going to use a um, barium uh, barium sulfates. Okay. Did it say either drop or in excess? Okay, this one is working. What color do we have here? White. It is not gelatinous. It is just a normal white precipitate. If you see gel, you will know. So this is just white. So see, I'm gonna how I'm gonna write that particular test here. So to that portion, which is third portion. So here, third portion plus B A C L two. What happened here? Just write white what precipitate. So what are you gonna infer here? Uh, you know, there are so many sorts of anions you are going to suspect. You're suspecting this. You're suspecting sulfates. You're also suspecting what? Carbonates. These three are what? Present. Or, or likely present. Can you use the word likely? Can you use just what? Present. So, but something happened. Something will happen. If you add dilute HCl, let's see what's going to happen to the precipitates. If it is this one, it will dissolve. If it is this one, it will dissolve. 
But if this is one, it will be looking at you. It will remain the same. It means that it's still not soluble. So let's add ACL. Let's add ACL. So it's ACL to what we have. What we have is bare room sulfate now. So you add ACL. You see, it's looking at you. So it's nothing is happening. But if it is other one, it will dissolve. And then the solution becomes clear. Well, the solution is still looking the way it is. So here, here, we are going to write that a, a white precipitate on dissolve. Or white precipitate what? Insoluble in excess ACL. Let me write it here. White, white, allow me to use this. White PPT what? Insoluble in what? Excess what? ACL. So what are you going to choose among these three radicals here? SO4 2 minus C A is what? Confirmed. Confirmed. Then to the most interesting part of the um, analysis, which is on simple sugar test. Okay, so we have this fairly solution. What are we, which one are we adding first? A or B? Okay, let's go with A first. Observe with keen interest. Okay. What's happened? What's happened? What's happened again? Where is B? Something happened? Yes. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, let us see what happened. The heat is helping the bond to break. The bond that is holding the Akanamo ET, the CHO. What is happening now? It's happening. Can you see something? Let me see. You are going to see this kind of color. Even though the color didn't match much well. Okay. Let's see, allow some heat. Okay. So there are two colors you can use here. Either you use a um, brick red. Brick red is somehow brick. Okay. Or reddish brown the two can score so so look at the interpretation here um fourth i think fourth portion right fourth portion plus what do we add what do we add first 
plus failing failing solution what a plus what b what they say here please the best why we prefer is what brick hyphen what red what precipi what tate any sample that give brick red precipitate with failing solution is a typical reducing what sugar I didn't even have any biscuit in the studio. I would have tested a biscuit. Um, that's that sweet, that sugary substance in biscuit. Uh, simply means that this is the, uh, one of the sugar used, one of the company, what do you call it, uh, um, uh, content used in that biscuit is glucose. We can just dissolve glu uh, biscuit in a test tube like this and add ferulein and it will give all this color, showing that it is detecting the glucose in the biscuits. Okay, you know, there are some other things that can also inhibit this reaction. You know, there is sulfate here, there is, there is a, there is a, I think I'm, there is a, a copper here. So these things are interfering with what? With the bridge. That's why you're not seeing that brick red in what? In that magnitude. So, but here, it gives us something related to brick red of reddish brown precipitate, which we confirm present of what? Reducing what? Sugar present even though that the sugar is glucose don't say glucose is present because it could be fructose or even galactose so they are all aspects of sugar that we call what reducing what sugar so this is um this particular uh, identification of ions i think school is it doesn't it does require it does depend on the school so whichever thing we whichever thing you see in this video is exactly how it's going to be and supposing it's your school or an exam because this one does not depend on your chemistry teacher there's no value here what you are looking at here is to what identify ions that are what present so based on their behavior you can easily what identify a particular ion from a sample what sort i think if you have any question you can just entertain one or two questions from you one or two questions Okay, in the absence of no question, please um, you like, you subscribe to this channel and uh, share like buttons. Uh, this, this channel is, is helpful to you, help to share and like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.